It shall be done. Very well. When first we met, I expressed satisfaction at the looks on your faces. Now that the tables have been turned, I am positively incarnadine. Brother, you always look like that. It's why we're here, remember? Hmm. True. As for these adventurers, I still haven't figured it out. Why have you come all this way? Gold? Some self-appointed noble quest? It is truly a shame. I would offer you something to buy your neutrality in this matter, but that isn't really what this is about. Unlike you, my sister and I are actually fighting for a cause. Our goal is the unification and solidarity of all the dispossessed freaks and half-breeds of Faerun, and the eventual enslavement of those who opposed us. Isair, I'm getting tired of these grandstanding mercenaries. Really? That's fascinating, because I was just thinking about killing them. Would that be alright with you, sister? It sounds perfect to me, brother. Farewell, mercenaries. Yes. 
insisted this isn't going quite as well as I had planned. Perhaps we should fall back. You always were the first to flinch, brother. Very well. Excellent maneuver. Wouldn't you say, sister? Ah! Silence your incessant chatterers there! Kill them! My humble apologies, sister. After you. How can I help? What is your ill in death? My time. Day. What was that? What's happening to me? Who should I know? You're the sorcerer, not I. We can ring the answers up as I fool Auric when we're done here. Auric! Auric! What's happening to me? Reverse the process, old man! Reverse! Ah! Get there! Help me! I can't move! My arms are on fire! I can't see! Help! Help me! No! Is there! No!
Rick didn't come into Kaldahar much after the Legion had broken. So much of his work had been lost that his life seemed wasted in his old age. Once I asked him what had happened when the hand vanished on that fateful day. As he looked down from the safety of the Mage's Tower, he watched chunks of stone fall away and disappear. Eventually, trails of ethereal fire raced up the fingers, leaving lavender smoke and nothing more. When the haze cleared, his tower alone survived, hanging in the sky as a reminder of what once stood at the center of the valley. Though I barely remember the adventurers now, we all remember how important they were to our lives. They stayed with us for a while longer, but moved with the changing of the seasons. Soon after the heroes had gone, Isalor planted a garden at the base of the Great Oak, for he told us the adventurer's memory should remain associated with the realm of the living. And as I now realize, it is for the sake of the living that I now leave my home, just as my mentor did when he came here, and just as those adventurers did when they saved all of Icewind Dale. There are many roads left to travel, many deeds left to do, before the end of my days. <laughs>